Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Um, this is the first ever pen mail video I've done. Um, if you're interested in these, please do either like or put a comment below, um, and I'll do a few more of them because obviously they are popular, but it's something that I generally haven't had a lot of interest in doing myself uh, because I like to watch pen reviews um, and I like I enjoy reviewing pens so if you find that these pen mail videos are any um, any benefit to you give me a thumbs up put a comment uh, comment in the comment section down below and I'll do more of these um, the reason that I'm doing this video is because I have received three pens from China now the backstory of this is, I saw this particular pet. Well, no, I saw. I was after a swirly chatoyant blue pen. I saw one completely unrelated to all of these in an online video. Absolutely loved it, but it was very expensive. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I'm not paying that much money for it. However, uh, Chris Rap Forty Two did a review of the Moonman M Six Hundred S, which had a very similar blue chatoyant material. So I ordered one of those. In fact, I ordered two. And to cut to basically try and cut this story uh, short, um, the M Six Hundred S is not now easily available here in the UK via eBay. So I'm talking ebay.co.uk. Um, that's the default eBay website for the UK. Um, if you use the app on your phone, it defaults to ebay.co.uk. If you go on the internet, it's ebay.co.uk. If you go through ebay.com, you can end up in all sorts of issues with shipping and everything else so ebay have kind of uh sandboxed the uk and i'm guessing other countries into this uh .co.uk .de whatever it is so trying to find a moonman m600 s was not easy um i found maybe seven or eight sellers on ebay that were selling this pen for what i considered to be quite a decent price um one of the uk sellers he is a uk based um seller i've bought pens from him before and he's been very good very reliable but he was charging a lot more for one of these pens and i thought well even if it's you know a really good pen i'm not going to pay so much for a pen which i can get from china for a fraction of the cost so I found a seller in China who had the Moonman M600S in the blue version, the green version, and the olive green khaki brown camouflage version. So placed an order, and a couple of days later, got a message from the seller saying, your order's been dispatched. So thank you very much. You know, it's going to take three weeks from China, which perfectly aware of and happy of happy with um and then about three or four days later i got a message from them saying the package has been returned to us by china post um what do, what do you want us to do do you want us to resend it or do you want a refund so i sort of don't know why but anyway please can you resend it and then they said, oh, very sorry, but the pen isn't in stock. So it's like, well, if the pen was returned to you, and now you don't have the pen, there's something a little bit dodgy going on here. So I said, look, please can I have a refund? Um, so back to the drawing board, found another seller who had the blue, the green, and the olive brown khaki version of the pen, placed an order with them, exactly the same story couple of days later got an email saying your item's been dispatched a couple of days after that got an email from the seller saying oh very sorry uh china post has returned the item to us um and it's it's been lost so we can supply you with a refund yes please supply me with a refund and i got the refund and it was the identical paypal email address as the first seller there were two separate sellers 
both in China, two separate sellers, different shop names, different products, all the rest of it. But it was the same eBay, not eBay, eBay, uh, PayPal email address. So I thought, oh, this is getting a bit tiresome because it had been a couple of weeks, about two and a half weeks by this stage. And I found another seller and I said, ah, great. They've got the blue version and the green version. Fantastic. So I placed an order with them. And then they <laughs> sent the same email. Very sorry, China Post has lost your parcel. Um, the outer wrapping came off. Uh, so we don't have any of the green pen in stock. Would you like another of the blue pens? Well, no, sorry, I replied. Thanks very much, but no, I don't want another blue pen. Please can you provide me with a refund for the green pen that you're now not going to send? And... They did that duly. Um, it was, thankfully, this time a separate eBay seller, different e uh, different PayPal email address. And then, because I actually wanted the green version, I found another seller, and I thought, oh, this I don't even know why I was doing this to myself, but I'll buy a blue version and a green version so that at least I've got the actual pens. So... These turned up. Um, yes. I'll explain more about this when I unbox them. So, this was today's pen package. Not today, but it actually came last week. Um, two of these pens came in one package from one seller. So, eventually they managed to sort themselves out. And they did actually... It, it, it was troublesome. So, I got that sorted out. Got two pens from one seller sort of as I ordered we shall see and the blue pen that had managed to get through China Post actually made it to the uh, to the UK so let's have a look at the pen because it's been a bit of a trial we all have this Moon Man cardboard box which has some sort of I don't know false leatherette finish which actually makes me want to Ugh, turn my hands off. Awful. <laughs> and inside we have the pen. So here we go. This is the blue version. Now, I am really, really in love with this finish. This acrylic is absolutely... Oh, it's gorgeous. It's lush. That's all I can say. It's got a little bit of sparkle in there. Um, not too much to be glittery. Uh, but it's chatoyant, it's lovely, it's beautiful. I am very, very pleased with this pen. I'm very pleased that it arrived. So, yeah, lovely looking pen. Completely satisfies my need for the um, chatoyant blue pen that I was craving so much. Very, very happy. Lovely looking pen. Um, I will do a review of this pen uh, in due course. So hit the subscribe button to be notified of when that happens. Um, so, yeah, very thankful that this pen actually turned up. There's nothing else in the box. So, there we go. That's one of the pens that arrived. So, what else arrived? This is where I was really intrigued, because when I found two separate packages, and one clearly had two boxes in, I was a little bit confused. But it was the actual seller who made good on the promise to send a green pen. Same stuff. There we go. So, ended up with two blue pens. But, you know, the chatoyancy is different. And they are lovely pens. Really, really lovely material. Very, very attractive. Um... Under the camera, this is actually coming out a lot of a uh, sort of darker blue, uh, more more like the sort of blue of the box than it is actually. It's it's a very nice teal blue, really really lovely looking material, nice colour. So when I opened that, I thought, oh damn it, I've got two of those, but hey, I can live with that. That's not a problem. I I, I do like the look of the pen very much. So. Perfectly happy. But what on earth is in the third box? 
Now I was hoping for the green, but that seller had already said that the green wasn't available and I was thinking, oh no, what have they done, sent another blue? No, they sent the khaki colour, the olive khaki colour. Um, whether this in their mind is green or not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Um, yes, it really does look like this under the camera. <laughs> in real life it's not the same sort of acrylic at all it's i mean it's not just time for a start it's all i can say is it's camouflage it's not even camouflage it's, it's like a cracked ice if you know what the cracked ice finish is like on acrylic pens where you get the sort of crazy crazing and um the patchwork effect um and that's what this has got in all I can describe as olive green, brown, ivory and black. Um, and quite honestly, this looks like a military army khaki coloured pen. Which at first I was really quite disappointed. Um, but it, it's, weirdly it's actually growing on me. Because I don't have anything like this in my pen collection. Um, so actually, you know what? If I ever find myself wondering what to do with a slightly olive green coloured ink, this is the pen it's going to be going in because, yeah, I actually, I'm kind of liking it. I do like tanks. Tanks, military vehicles, World War II history, Second World War, 20th century, yeah, love all that sort of stuff. So this is kind of tying in with, um, with that sort of, uh, that, that sort of thing. So, Initially disappointed, but I'm actually really warming to this pen. I'm really quite liking it because it is such an unusual colour. Not what I expected or what I was hoping for, but surprisingly uh, happy with uh, with the outcome of this little purchasing experience. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All I can say is I've bought a lot of things from China over the years. I've certainly bought a lot of pens directly from China. And 90... But you, you know what? 100% of the time on eBay, I've been happy. Um, buying from China from other websites such as Wish. Don't do it. Um, and AliExpress, which is 50-50. You know, you, you might get your products, you might not. Um, you might have to get a refund, which takes three months. You might not. <laughs> um, wish you will just get disputed by the seller because they said that the stuff arrived two days after you placed the order from China and the tracking information said it arrived in the Netherlands. Um, I don't live in the Netherlands and every item of electronic gadgetry that I've ever purchased from Wish, uh, that's wish.com, has always ended up in the Netherlands and never in my um, greasy hands. Uh, and trying to get hold of the... Uh, Hold of the refund from the sellers is never it's never worked on Wish. I've always had to raise a case through PayPal, which takes several weeks sometimes, and it's just a pain in the bottom. So eBay, hundred percent of the time, I've been happy. If anything from China, like pens, hasn't arrived, I've simply contacted the seller. Maybe a month or two after, it's due to have arrived, and never any problems. Uh, they've always just gone, oh, very sorry, we'll refund you. We haven't got the pen in stock anymore, or the colour in stock. This Moonman M600 buying experience has been, so far, touch wood, the only time that I've had any issues in buying anything from China, because it seemed to be that there may only have been two Chinese sellers who actually had this M600 in stock, and I believe that one of them actually didn't have it in stock at all. And they were just saying that things were dispatched, but actually they really weren't dispatched. Also, I can't understand how a seller who clearly packaged the green and the blue pen in the same really tough black plastic um, packing material uh, in a bag, and that made it all the way from China. The seller who sent just the blue pen... Um, in black plastic and said that the green one had been re 
had been lost because it was the paper wrapping that had come off it. I can't believe that they didn't send them in the same package. Or if they did, then why did both black plastic package bags that these things came in separately make it all the way and the green one somehow managed to lose its uh, little friend here just seems a bit odd so it is a bit of a caveat you know um you know buyer beware and all that if you're buying from china i'd say 99 percent of the time depending on where you buy from you're not going to have any issues, or if you do have issues, they will be resolved on eBay really easily with the Chinese sellers. This whole Moonman M600 buying experience has been a bit arduous. It's taken many weeks um, with many failures and many weird outcomes. Um, so very messy. Thankfully, it's all been resolved. I'll certainly try to make a note of the sellers that I bought from so that I don't end up trying to buy from them again because other Chinese sellers not had that problem. Um it does seem to be just the one seller, which, incidentally, I'll we'll talk about feedback just briefly. 98% feedback on eBay is generally a little bit of a warning sign. And this seller had something like 98.1% feedback and he looked over the last 12 months and they'd sold out, I don't know, 22,000 items. Um, but they had got quite a lot of negative feedback about items not being delivered or the wrong items turning up, things like that. So I should have been a little bit, bit more apprehensive and check the feedback. I must admit it is something that I don't do unless it's a very small seller, um, usually a private seller. I'll check their feedback before I purchase. So, interesting outcome. I'm happy with the outcome. Nice to have three pens. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Like I said, if you do like these pen mail videos, I won't always talk about the post and packing, but I'll just talk about my experience with this video. Um, give us a like, put a comment down below, and I'll do more pen mail videos. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.